After the unboxing, we tried to calibrate and it failed. We then reached out to Xtool and they explained to us that while this is unusual, it has happened before and perhaps the laser was damaged during transportation. They were very quick to send us a replacement machine. We're now filming with a replacement engraver. You can lift up the engraver mechanically and then access the back where the security tapes are. You cannot operate the screen until the tapes have all been removed from the back. We couldn't find any help online about this, so I'm enclosing footage here. Oh, and please remember to take the cap off the laser head first. We are now ready to start the calibration process. First, start with connecting the device. Then it will ask you to calibrate and you need the laser to be highly focused. So now we go to calibrate. The first step is to take the black paper that's in the package. Then we lift the lid and put it in the center of our base plate. You see a blue dot and a red dot. You just want them approximately in the middle of the sheet. Then we tape it down. You don't need a lot of tape. You just don't want it to shift around. For safety reasons, always close the lid. Press engrave and then confirm on the control tablet. The laser will mark two white crosses on the paper and then project crosshair rulers, one blue and one in red, to help measure the location of the crosses and then you can enter the coordinates. Once the coordinates are entered, the laser would then calibrate. The projected blue and red dots should overlap one another. Otherwise, it would indicate that it's not been successfully calibrated. The first time we did it visually, but we failed to calibrate. Then we repeated the process using a new sheet of paper. The second time, we used the software to auto-calibrate by pushing the green button. If it fails to calibrate the second time, you can use a screwdriver to adjust the laser head manually until the dots overlap. There are very clear instructions in the software with photos. Once the dots are overlapped, we are good to go. There was a firmware update that was available after this engraver was shipped. Even if we didn't need this to use the engraver, it's always a good idea to have all of the updates. Now we are ready to use the engraver. Let's get started with a sample project, which I'm going to share with you on my next video.